Hey everyone, this is Miguel, and I want to thank you for checking out Strategy Rewind Podcast. I am the host of this podcast and the CEO of Miguel LeBron Coaching. Stick around as today we're talking about strategies for creating change. To me, change and transformation are two different things. And so I really want to start there. Let's define the difference between change and transformation. Change is provoked by something exterior, something outside of us, something that happens to us or something that we see happen to other individuals. You can read a book, you can listen to a song, you can see something on a movie where art imitates life. And this kind of wakes up this moment of, hey, I need to make a change in my life. We have to see something outside of us. All the signs point to us making a change. This is something exterior, something outside of us. If we're in a relationship where things aren't working out, we begin to analyze and say, hey, this isn't working out. We have to then make a change, right? We change course, we change mindset, we change thoughts. But when we talk about something deeper, It's making a change that creates a transformation in our life. But what is transformation? The best example of what a transformation is, is found in the life of a butterfly. Well, before it's a butterfly, we know it's a caterpillar. And this caterpillar doesn't try to transform. It simply understands that it's part of its growth. It's part of its progression. It's part of what has to happen in its life. Now think about this. In order for this caterpillar to turn into a butterfly, it has to go ahead and create this cocoon, right? Everything inside of it is already going through this metamorphosis, right? Everything inside of it, everything inside of it is happening to go through this transformation transformation before it's revealed externally. And so much like the butterfly cocoon situation, you and I, we go through transitions in our life, which causes a transformation. And sure, a change can begin where we understand everything outside of us is not the way we want it to be. And so we decide to alter some things in our life, which causes obviously a transformation. So change can lead to transformation, but transformation is so much deeper because because it happens inside of us. It starts inside of our hearts, inside of our mind, where we begin to realize, I don't feel the way I want to feel. I'm not the person I want to be inside of me. There's so much more than what I'm seeing here. And so obviously you may make a change in your schedule, but that change can lead to a transformation. That external move can lead to something internal. So there's a relationship between change and transformation. Change is external. Transformation is internal. And the balance between these two is a wonderful thing. They're not fighting against each other, change and transformation, but rather they both work so that we can have harmony in our life and so that we can see the individual that we want to be, the person, the life that we want to live. So again, today, we're focusing on the strategies to bring forth change. And the idea, the end goal here would be that you would live a transformed life and that you would have the ability and the opportunity really to live out the greatness that is within you. Oftentimes we get stuck in a rut, but the question is, how do we cause change that leads to transformation? How do we create change that leads to awesome transformation? Number one, we have to tell the truth. We have to tell the truth to the person in the mirror. We have to tell the truth to ourselves. Listen, if you're lying to yourself about where you are right now, you're never going to be truthful about where you can be. If you continue to convince yourself that where you are right now is where you deserve to be, then then you're never going to be able to be truthfully honest about what the next level looks like. Settling down now into this current position is not going to allow you to reach more, to be able to actually excel and live out your greatness and create a tribe and have an impact on the level that you should be having. And so when we talk about having a transformation, when we talk about actually using strategies to create a change, the number one thing we have to do is tell the truth. Tell the truth not only to yourself, but to the people around you. What is it that you want? Are you settling right now? 
Are you settling into a lifestyle or a mindset or to friendships or habits that do not produce something greater? We're not talking about just simple change. We're talking about exceptional change. I mean, a real transformation, something that really transcends. Why continue to do the same things and expect a different outcome? That's not being truthful. That's not telling the truth. From there, you can then create a plan. Right? That's step number two. Number one is be truthful, tell the truth. And number two is create a plan. When you begin to create a structured plan of what it is that you want to accomplish and the steps that are needed, this is really entering into strategy territory. Now I know, okay, I know that I'm stuck. I realize that I'm stuck. I realize that maybe I've been procrastinating. I've been putting off some things. And if you realize this in your life, then you can actually begin to put together a wonderful plan. Oftentimes we lack the accountability. And so maybe having a coach could really be the next step for you. On my website, I've actually produced a blog which is titled Starting From Zero. And in this article, I talk about how I myself have often felt that I have to start from zero. But the truth is, you don't have to start from zero. As I outlined in that article, you can start from where you are right now. No reason to disregard all the hard work you've put in. Even if you find yourself right now stuck, or even if you find yourself right now not succeeding to the level that you know you can, hey, no need to start from zero. I mean, consider the GPS. It doesn't have you turn around. Rather, what it does, it has you start from where you are to where you want to be. So yes, Needing an accountability partner may be something that right now you realize, no problem. Don't get stuck on that. Head over to MiguelLebron.com. Check out this free article, Start From Zero. And also, go ahead and set up a free 30-minute strategy session. I want to talk with you. I want you to hit that breakthrough moment. Again, the number one thing you need to do is tell the truth. Be honest with you and with those individuals around you. Number two, create a strategy plan. Because in doing so, You'll be able to take your change and create really long lasting transformation. Let me talk to you about our show sponsors, United Marriage Encounter. United Marriage Encounter is a worldwide nonprofit organization dedicated to improving marriages by introducing powerful, practical, ongoing communication strategies. It's such a powerful experience, the weekends that they host for marriages. Early in our marriage, my wife and I went to a weekend, but the strategies that we received were so powerful, we decided to go again because the truth is that we can always keep growing growing and learning on how to better communicate. The weekends that they host are presented in a conference type setting, but after that initial meet and greet, no other group sharing is required. Each couple is given enough time to talk privately, freely, and be able to dedicate their entire time to their significant other. Head over to unitedmarriage.com. That's unitedmarriage.com, where there you'll find more details on events that are coming up and may be happening in your neck of the woods. It is my distinct honor to have with me Giovanni Negron Garcia. Giovanni, thank you so much for being with us today. Of course, it is my honor to be on your show today. Uh, listen, there's going to grad school and doing everything, keeping me busy. This is the stuff that I love doing and always love to dedicate time to. Awesome. Awesome. Now, for those who are not familiar with the things, amazing things that you're doing, let them know about yourself. Yes, so I am the CEO and owner of GeoFect Life Coaching and Public Speaking. I love to inspire young professionals to achieve their dreams, overcome their boundaries and their obstacles to really discover who they are. And I not only work with young professionals, I work with our seasoned professionals as well. I use seasoned professionals because I do not like using the word old. I don't believe our, well, in this case, older loved ones are not providing for us, not providing us wisdom. So that's why I love to call them seasoned professionals. Because when I think of the word old, I, I associate it with useless and they're not useless. They're very valuable to our society, and especially helping us grow. So, you know, you actually spoke about that recently with regards to people saying, why do you hang around with quote unquote old people? And, and you went into that idea and that philosophy of it's not old, they're just seasoned individuals. 
And regardless of what stage we are in our life, whether it's young, seasoned, or somewhere in between, everyone goes through a process of transitions and changes. Mm-hmm. But I believe there's a difference between change and transformation. I wanted to know on your perspective if there is a difference and what would that be, the difference between change and transformation? Or maybe there isn't. Well, I feel like change is more what you do on the external. I think change is more something you can plan for. Transformation necessary is not is something you don't plan for. That's something that happens naturally over time. You transform your mindset over time. That's something you can't plan. You know, life events happen. The way you think during that time, you know, it can transform over time. But change is more something that ha- happens through a process. Transformation, again, it just kind of happens over time. For like my transformation, losing 200 pounds in a year. There's no way I can plan to lose 200 pounds in a year. It just happens. It happens over time. I can plan to change. I plan to change and I plan to put action in place. But transformation, again, you can't plan for that. Because of how much happens over life, it's hard to keep a routine sometimes. But um, I hope that answers your question. And that makes it clear. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, my my idea of change and transformation is actually not too far away from yours. I believe that in order for there to be change, we have to look back, as opposed to transformation causes us to look within, mm-hmm. and there lies the difference. With regards to your transformation, which is a powerful story for those who aren't familiar, you actually lost. an an amazing amount of weight through the course of one year. But the incredible thing really is that you kept eating Oreos. I did eat Oreos. I wanted to make sure that I'm enjoying myself. I think a lot of people, when they head into dieting or heading heading into the health routines, they have to give up everything they love. Oreos is one of those things I could not give up because for the love of me, it was my childhood and it's what I carried with me into adulthood. And I know I need to figure out something because I cannot live my life without Oreos. Um, Oreos brings me peace. It brought me peace when I was going through a bad time and it brought me comfort and it still does now, especially, you know, even though I lost all this weight, I'm still battling some things, um, battling anxiety, you know, battling so that I can continue progressing because we know it's not easy for being Latino in America. So there's a lot of things, but Oreos always gave me that comfort. And I ate a lot of Oreos during my 200 200- on weight loss. So um, I encourage everybody, keep eating what you love. Just eat it in moderation. You know, give yourself a serving size of it. Just feed your temptation. Just don't let, don't let your cravings become bigger than that, what they are. Because the thing is, when you let cravings carry on, then you're just going to eat two times as much just to fulfill that craving. So we talk about change and transformation. And as you spoke about kind of having that that harmony of living a better life, but still staying grounded, so to speak. What type of strategies could we provide those who are right now trying to go through that change, but maybe they're in that, in that transition of transforming, of changing their habits? What strategies could we help them so that they could implement? Oh, first you have to reflect. Um, I really tell people, reflect before you start anything. You really have to see where you're at in life um, address the issues, write it down. There, and sometimes it takes two weeks. Sometimes it takes a couple of days. It may take a month. The whole thing is we have to see where we're at first before we start and act on any plans. Yes, there's never a good time to start. That's absolutely true. But you have to start with reflection. Uh, if you don't know where you're at, you're going to be lost. You're going to be lost the first couple steps. It's good to be organized when you're entering your transformation. Again, transformation this happens out of nowhere and it does happen over time but have some structure to it you know um definitely definitely reflect um because sometimes i said oh i'm gonna i plan on losing this amount of weight and i'm gonna transform my body but why am i transforming my body why am i transforming my mindset is there something affecting me is there an obstacle still in front of me that i'm not seeing it took me a while to reflect before i enacted any change a year's time passes, you lose 200 pounds, and at the end, you feel fill in the blank. I feel lighter. <laughs> um, I feel lighter, but I feel empowered. I feel better. I feel more, I feel mentally well, you know, emotionally well, emotionally stable, mentally stable. I feel focused. 
I feel like those obstacles that I have in my life, I can overcome them. And I've, I've learned that small progress is important progress and, and progress that we seem to overlook sometimes, but it, it adds to the big thing. Cause I, I, I look at it as that I lost 200 pounds, but in between I lost five, one week. I lost two, one week. I lost 10, one week, but that kept adding up. It kept adding up. So I, I definitely feel better overall as a person. And I never, like I tell people, I don't want them to feel because I lost 200 pounds that that means I'm happy. I think that happiness piece is something that we all, we spend our entire lives trying to find, but I don't want nobody to feel that they have to lose 200 pounds to be happy. I want them to be happy in the state that there are. And if they have to invoke change and transformation in their life, that's completely up to them. Speaking of happiness, your current book speaks about that process, that happiness or pursuit of happiness. Talk a little bit about your book for those who want to get their hands on that. Yes. Yeah, so I made a book called Passion, Purpose, and the Pursuit of Happiness. I made this book so that people can not only address what they're going through, but as well as have a guide, have a partner, if you will, because not all of us have access to somebody. And it's unfortunate, you know, you always want to text somebody, check in with somebody, you know, we're all busy. It, there's always something going on. But sometimes the reality is there's some people who just genuinely don't care about you and they only care about themselves. I made this book so that you feel like you have somebody. So not only are you reading through the chapter of passion, you're reading through a chapter of purpose, you're reading through a chapter of how to proclaim your happiness, there's workbook pages. So you can reflect and talk to the book. And, you know, on February 26th, and I've been ingraining this in my mind, it's, it's stuck there. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm scared to date now. It just keeps popping up. My favorite number is 26. Now, um, February 26th at 12 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to have a pre-sale. And the pre-sale is $5.95. Just to get your, your paperback copy. I'm going to be doing it for 48 hours. So you have until February 26th, 12 p.m. until February 28th. 12 p.m. to get a $5.95, $5.95, everybody. And uh, the reason I did that is to create accessibility because I believe a lot of people should have their hands on this book, but as well as get another book for someone you care about, a loved one, a mentee, um, your brother, your sister, your mother. I want you to go through this journey together if you can, you know, go through the reflection stage together because I went through it basically on my own and it was a very miserable time. Even though as much weight I was losing progress, it was miserable because I couldn't share that with somebody until I started using my Facebook as a storytelling platform. The, the challenge is to not only get your 595 copy, but as well invest in someone else. Because I know we have, even as young as we are, we still got to invest in the younger generation or even give back to our seasoned professionals. Those individuals that are listening and are feeling inspired and want to get their hands on the book and want to get connected with you, let them know how they can do so. Yes. Yeah, so for the book, um, for the link, it's going to be available February 26th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I know I'm kind of, <laughs> um, I, but rep repetition does work. It helps people so that it's like, when, when was it? Um, <laughs> but if you want to connect with me, you can connect with me on Facebook, um, Giovanni Negron Garcia. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, same name. Uh, and then as well as my Instagram and Facebook page, Geofect LLC, you can find me. I, I display some content there. And then we also get lost in the pizza sauce and the Pizza Time Chronicles, uh, which is located on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we do have an Instagram page. We're trying to build that. So that's where you can find me. Thank you so much for being part of the program today, Gio. Of course. I, it's my honor. I get, like I said, I have fun doing these things. You know, I always love to do this. Um, you are capable. You are important. You are valuable. Your dreams will come true. Your goals will flourish. And do not put those things aside. Always make it a top priority because you are a top priority. Thank you so much for everyone who has been connected here today on Strategy Rewind Podcast. For more information on this podcast, head over to strategyrewind.com. Of course, I also want to thank today's guest and encourage you to head over to the show notes of this episode as you can find details on what they're doing and how you can connect with them. There in the show notes, you'll also find information on today's show sponsor, which is United Marriage Encounter. Remember, they have events going on all through the calendar year and even in your neck 
of the woods. Of course, if you'd like to be a sponsor of this podcast, head over to MiguelLeBron.com. There you'll find details not only of how you can become a sponsor of this podcast, but also information on Miguel LeBron coaching. As always, please consider subscribing and sharing this podcast. And of course, surround yourself with people that will nourish your vision.